Okay, today we're going to talk about scaling current and current mirrors and also trying to improve the impedance of current mirrors. So here we have a simple NMOS current mirror that would be syncing an output current I out. Now remember that we have the concept of the overdrive voltage and we can generally say that the overdrive voltage VOV is equal to VGS minus VTH, the threshold voltage. And remember the other day we discussed that we could reverse this and talk about the gate to source voltage in terms of the overdrive voltage plus the threshold voltage. Now, for our typical MOS devices, our threshold voltages are somewhere around the 0.3 to 0.5 value. So we'll say for the time being that our threshold voltage is 0.4 volts. And in general, we want our overdrive voltage to be somewhere in the 100 millivolts to 500 millivolts range. So for the time being, we'll say that a good overdrive voltage is somewhere around 0.25 volts or 250 millivolts. All right, so we know for this current mirror, we can say that the reference current is equal to the supply voltage VDD minus VGS for the NMOS one device divided by the reference resistance. And we know that the overdrive voltage VOV is equal to the square root of two times the current going through the transistor divided by mu Cox times W over L. All right, so we just said that typically we're going to want to set VOV equal to some value like a quarter of a volt. Now typically we're gonna set this somewhere between 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 volts. So what we need to do now is find W over L for the desired current and the desired overdrive voltage. All right, if we want the output current to be different than the reference current, we could scale W over L2 relative to W over L1. And what we mean by this is we would make W over L2 equal to N times W over L1. N doesn't have to be an integer. We can make any scaling factor that we like if we're doing this in an integrated circuit. Uh, if we're doing this with discrete transistors, of course, N would have to be an integer. Now, if we do this scaling, then the output current would be equal to n times the reference current. In other words, IO would be equal to n times IR. Now, what if we desire a very small output current, especially on an integrated circuit? So let's say that we want I out equal to one microamp. What size would the reference resistor need to be in order to do this? Well, let's assume that our assumptions for VOV and VTH are the same as in the last example. So our reference resistor would be equal to 1.8 volts minus 0 0.7 volts. That would be the VGS divided by one microamp. This would imply that the reference resistor would need to be on the order of 1.1 mega ohms. This is very difficult to do on an IC.
we don't have a lot of materials that have the type of resistivity that would give us these size of resistors. And so we're going to need to find a different way to do this. And in the next video, we will look at the Widlar current source, which is aimed at making small output currents when we without having to use very big resistors.